Welcome back. This is our first video of our graphing unit and it is called what is a bar graph. So we are going to look at what is a bar graph. So let's get started. So a bar graph represents data on again in a visual way. So let's look at what a bar graph needs and then we're going to do the example on the next slide. A bar graph must have an X axis and a Y axis and if you don't know what that means simply put it is this here now my program does not have a fancy ruler so my line will look crooked but if you're doing this by hand you should use a ruler this right here is called the y axis this right here is called the x axis you've also have probably heard this called the vertical axis and this has also been called the horizontal axis. Get used to calling it X and Y axis moving forward. Also, a graph needs to have a title. So, title of graph. So it depends, whatever you're graphing needs to have a title. It has a scale on the side. So on here, we'll pretend that we're skip counting by twos. So this varies with every single graph. You will not always skip count by twos. And the bottom has whatever you're graphing. So you're, basically it's your information slash options. So if we're doing favorite food, here where you would have say pizza, you would have sandwich, you would have say carrots or whatever, okay? And the last thing you need is labels. So labels down here and over here would be say favorite food and then say number of students, okay? Labels will always vary. They change depending on what kind of graph you are doing. So here we have favorite sport. So we need to have our X and Y axis. That's the first thing we should draw out. And I'm gonna draw it right over here. I'm going to give myself plenty of space. So again, if you're doing this on paper, you definitely, definitely need a ruler, okay? Now you don't have, you don't need to write Y axis and X axis, but what we do need to write are the labels. So I'm gonna use a different color now. Let's use green. So this is called favorite sport. The sports will go at the bottom in this graph. And then number of students, because I asked students for this, and we also need a title. So in this case, it's favorite, sports, let's say in Mr. C's class. The next thing we need to do is put these sports at the bottom, so on the X axis. So because we have five sports, we need to fill this in carefully. It's gonna overlap a little bit here. So I'm gonna start by putting hockey over here, basketball, We'll go here, soccer, then we have football, and baseball. And we'll extend the line here a little bit. We also need to include a scale. So if we look at these numbers here, this is where our data is. It's right over here. So now a good way to figure out a scale is to look at what are some of the numbers in our data. So we see that these are relatively low numbers. And I think a good scale for this would be skip counting by twos. You must put the zero here. This is called the vertex of the graph. It always needs to have a zero at the bottom. So then we're going to label two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. We'll do 12. Now it's time to actually plot the data. So hockey has six. So you look here, 
hockey is right over here, six is right over here. So this is how we would graph it. You would do something like this. Basketball is 11. So there is no 11 on the graph, but there's a 10 and there's a 12. And 11 will be right in the middle. Soccer is eight, and as you can see, there is an eight. Football is two, so there's a two right there. And lastly, you have baseball at seven. Again, there is no seven, but there's a six, there's an eight, and we know that seven is in between those two numbers, so it would look like this. Now that you graphed the information it's good to shade in your data or your bars and it is a good idea to keep them all the same color and this would be our bar graph we have if you look on the previous slide we do have a title we have labels we have our information we have our scale and the data is there so that is a bar graph stay tuned for some more videos on other graphs we'll see you in the next one bye bye